Hello everyone, before we begin this video, I like to do a tribute for the late and great Kazuki Takashi for the King of Games, aka Yu-Gi-Oh. This right now is be is being reported of the time of his death, but as you can see as it's being released, this will be released later for a proper tribute. He was born in 1961 and October the 4th of Tokyo, Japan and passed away on July the 6th of this year of 2022 in the Nyoga River of Okinawa. You have really changed the world. Excuse me. You have really changed the world of the card of game and that's like and that is why I want to introduce you to this card right here. And also in the back of this special card is my very first Halloween costume as Yugi from 18 years ago. So now everyone, I like to present you all to the Barry's Kobo Workshop 18th Report. And also rest in peace to Technoblade as well. Bye. I can't wait for Ever 4 to come soon in this presentation. It took him a while to finish the sense of the presentation. Oh, and here he comes right now. Wow, look at him go, he's coming out. Hello everyone, Game Show and Podcast Edo would like to present to you Storytime Edo with his report of the Barry's Kobo Barry's Workshop. So, L4, what you got for us today? Right, I just came back to the workshop of Barry's, and for this report, we're going to be talking about Barry's Kobo, aka Barry's Workshop. Could you please sit down? Could you please sit down? It would be the best way to report. Okay. Yeah. I will do my best to share the co-workers' stories and experience of Barry's while also speaking in Japanese on how I first worked with them. This, will, this report will be read in Korean, Spanish, Thai, Japanese, and English, while the original speech will be in English and Japanese, and also auto-translation exists on your phone and PC as well. So let's dive in for the 18th report of Barry's Kobo. Hmm. <laughs> this company has 9 to 10 members as leader. So we're going to start off with Captain Saki Shimizu, born on November the 22nd of 1991 and from Tokyo. Our second member is Momoko Tasunaga from Kasawa Chibi Prefecture, born on March the 6th, 1992. The third member is Chami Tasunaga, born May the 22nd. The second member that was born the same year as Momoko and from the Kangawa Prefecture. The third member that was born in the same year as Momoko it's Masa Sudo, and also from Tokyo. The fourth to last member that was born in the same year as Momoko is Mayabi Natsuyaki, born on August the 25th, and she is from the Chiba Prefecture. The sixth member of our crew is Yuna Kumai, born on 1993 of August the 3rd, and from Kanagawa, just like Chinami. The second to last member that we have is Ritsuko Saguyaya 
from Zushi Kangawa and born on the 4th of April 1994. Saiguni, the last member that was born in the same year as Momoko, is Maihai Ishimura, born on the November the 20th and from the Chiba Prefecture, just like Miyabi. Now I know you're all wondering, where is the 10th member? Well, this person is the producer that started this whole process, so he's more likely the big boss of Berries, which is Tunku, but Saki is the main leader of it all. So now let's go back to 20 years ago. Oh, you had a question? Before you move on to the next topic at 04, what did you do in that year? Well, from what I can remember, I was starting pre-K at the time. My father's job was a librarian at SU. I first saw my first anime called Hamataro, but I really didn't know the surroundings of Japanese and Japanese culture from, from 2004 to 2009 of age 7 through 12, but now we're going to be moving on to the Berries Report. During the summer of 2002, Tungu hosts another audition, but not for Moi Musume, but a new plan called Hello Project Kids. This was broadcasted as Hello Morning's 115th episode on June the 30th, Nisei Ichinine and has 1,610 girls to choose from. Worth noting that the ages of, was ranged from 5 to 10 years old as participants. In the end, 15 girls were chosen. And that is how we got here today, while also attending their first Hello Project concert too. Saki and Momoko joined in the group with Minimoni's leader Yaguchimari called Zix. Speaking of Minimoni, their first and only movie had Masai and Ritsuko as them being fairies for the evil queen of the movie The Great Cake Adventure. And Miyagi was in a short-lived three-member group called Ah! With their only single called First Kiss, Kiss on the October the 29th of 2003, and ranked on a number of 18th on the relationship. All members for not only Berries, but the other members of Hello Project Kids were in Morning Musume's fourth movie about a puppy named Dan, released on the 14th of December 2002, and won the 2003-26 Japan Academy Film Festival for Most Popular Film. So, on the New Year's of 2004, January the 14th, 7 out of 14 members of From Hello Project was chosen to become Barry's Workshop. Now we are going to be diving into the three chapters of their full discography for the next Presentation. Hajime Masho. Alrighty, so back into the new year of 2004, they've held a concert performing Morning Musume classics while not only receiving their name but also the outfit also used to go with their first single too. Yes? So, what's the first single that the Berry released? I, I can't remember. It's, it's usually on the tip of my tongue. Oh! Hey, Tunkun from 2004. Do you remember what Berry's first single was called again? Arigato, Tunkun-san. Anata nashite wa ite nikinai. You, I cannot live without. Released on the 3rd of March 2004 and lived on the 18th place. The second single called Fighting Pose Isn't For Show. Fighting Pose Wa Tate Janai. 
released on April the 28th and fought for the 25th place. The third single for their first album is Spicing Things Up called Peri Te Yuko. Started their journey in May the 26th while not only getting the 37th place but also was featured in Tatsuji and Kago's W second single Aina that's nice as background dancers. The first Super Berries became their Ichicho Berries Pioneer album released on July the 7th and won the 7th to 18th place. The fourth single of that year is Welcoming Happiness. Happiness Kokuku Tange Welcome on August the 25th and placed happily on the 20th place. Their fifth and last single for 2004 is Koi no Jubaku, Love Spell, cast on November the 10th and used its magic to get to the 13th place. Before we finish off Barry's debut year of the workshop, there are three more things that have been done in that year as well. First, is Tsuji and Kago's graduation Hello Project 2004 of summer on July the 17th to August the 1st called Summer Boom. First concert of Zetima and Barry's rank of the sixth place and has 12 shows in total. Second is being the collaboration for W translate as 2004 Year Concert Tour W Standby, released on November the 17th and ranked on the 8th place. Last event from 2004 is they were in the Winter Hello Project Shuffle called One for All and All for One on December the 1st and was in another movie called Promised Land Clover's Die Bulkin and their adventures was released on July the 13th. Now we're starting the second year of the workshop of Berries in Hello Project with their sixth single called Special Generation, released on March the 30th, 2005 and ranked on the seventh place. Speaking of seven, their seventh single, Just How Love Is You Know, Figured out on 8th of June while finding the solution to the 13th place and became the first soundtrack for the ending anime of the next version of Journey to the West, Palapa. At this time, they hosted their very first concert translated as Early Summer Alone Concert, released on September the 22nd and won the 25th place. The eighth single is the last single with My High translated as The clock was ticking on August the 3rd, but stayed in the same place as their last single on the 13th for the charts. My High Resonation is because she wanted to continue her studies in school, but rewarded with the second concert of W High Score, Switch On being their second to long concert while being the seventh to eighth Hello Project concert together. The ninth single was a revamp of the companies of the seventh member called Gagu Hakubun Aishite Kudasai Please Love Me As Much As 100 Gags or Jokes released on November the 23rd and December the 7th and made it into the 19th and 45th place while becoming a soundtrack for the Pretty Cure second movie. Their second album for 2005 is the record of the second growing season, Dai Ni Si Choki. Their second progress report was released on November the 16th and their final grade is on a 19th place of 81%. The second year of Berries include four concerts and two CDs released too. Their 10th single is translated as Running Out of Patience. Time was running out 
on March the, the 29th of 2006, but made it in time for the sixth place. Third album is a summer party for the Berry Celebration. San Natsu Natsu Mini Berries let out for the break on July the 5th and relax on the 20th place. Now, we're going to take a break on their third year, but there is still more to come in our third part of the presentation. So now, their 11th project is the second year with of a relaxation of laughter called what out shadow boyfriend let's laugh boyfriend enjoyed on august 2006 and placed on the 15th place their 12th single is a strong feeling of muna sawagi scarlet their prediction is on december the 6th and their social thinking landed on the 12th place their 13th single is another start of New Year, New Me with Very Beauty, released on March the 30th, 2007, and made it to the 11th place. The last single of their first album is translated as Fountain Plaza of My Confession, confessed on June the 27th and forgiven on the 4th place. The 4th album is translated as Index of Love, so and so started their chapters on the 1st of August and sold on the 14th place. One thing to notice is that this was their very first album that made it outside of Japan to South Korea on May the 25th of the next year, but it would not be the last and this will be explained more in this chapter presentation. The 15th single is translated as I'm dating but I have a crush on you, released on November 28, 2007 and put on the 6th place. Their 16th work became a worldwide phenomenon because it is a cover of a 1979 band and song of Genghis Khan, released on March 12th and released on September 17th of 2008 while making it to the 4th and 35th place. This has also made it into the popular NHK festival translated as the Red and White Song Battle Award, along with another group in their label called Cute, and won. Their 17th single is called UK UK Monkey Dance, released on July the 9th and dance its way to the 4th place. The last single is called My Dad, which stands for not yet or pattern. Started its pattern on September the 5th and landed on the 6th and 4th place. Last album for this chapter is the 5th album called Five on September the 10th and on it landed in the 11th place. During 2008 and 2009, our company has expanded their horizons of concert in Korea being their first international concert, and Thailand, while doing 14 shows in their native land along with Hello Project. Speaking of international, this is where we move on to the second to last chapters of Barry going outside of Japan. We are Barry's <laughs> Japanese idol group. Oh, okay, okay. We're now starting off the fifth year of berries of the 19th single, Kado Kado. Daki Shite Mete, Daki Shite Mete, released on March 11, 2009, and held on tightly on the eighth place. Now is the dual single, their first dual singles of Seishun Youth Bus Guide and Rival, riding down on June the 30th while the challenger is waiting on the 4th and 7th place on Billboard and the bus guy was used for the ending theme for the anime Azuma 11. The 22nd and 23rd dual single yet again was not only used for the Lightning 11 
but it was also placed on the 30th place and released in the new decade of 2010, March 3rd and the 10th. The sixth album is translated as Six War Cry Album, released on March the 31st of 2010, placed in the 12th place along with doing five concerts too. The 24th single of the Workshop 6th Anniversary is The Maji Bomber. It's a serious bomber, released on July the 14th and imploded on the 6th place. The 25th single is Shining Power, released their power on 10th of November and shined on the 7th place. Their 26th single is the third single for their seventh album of Hirone Na Niroka. The second moment of Superpower was released on March the 2nd of 2011 and made it all the way from the first to the 22nd place on the chart. The seventh album is now Barry's Time. The seventh year of Berries released on March 30th, 2011 and placed to the 10th and the third place on the chart while being on five more tours. Speaking of tours, during these times, Berries have been traveling from Thailand and Korea, but 10 years ago, exact or late, was their very first time they came to America. On June 8, 2012, they visit New Jersey at the Garden State Exhibit Tour of Expo for the Q&A and performance. And now we're going to go back to the business of Barry's 8th album and 27th single. The 8th year of Barry's began the shot of I Know Dangen, Love Boy, on 8th of July 2011 and hit their target from the 6th to the 11th place. The 28th single is the evening tune of Translate of Oh, It's Dawn. The sun was setting on August the 10th and went down to the 6th to 11th place of the sky charts. The 29th single was a collaboration with Cute translated as in bitter sweet springs the sakura blooms as berry coo released on november the 9th and placed on the 6th through the 85th place of not only the okon charts but also reaching adulthood of billboard japan adult contemporary airplay their 30th single is the collaboration with Hello Project translated as The Philosophy of How Not to Become Ugly, released on the same month and year of the 16th, and their self-help song made it to the third and fourth place. Their eighth album of love is I Know Album Hachi, released on February the 22nd, 2012, and made it to the 25th place. The 31st single of Be Energetic, If You Can Do It, You'll Be Able To Do It, Be Genki, Nasuba Naru, released on March the 21st of 2012, and was able to make it happen on the 9th and 30th place on the chart. The 32nd single is a cover of the Thailand artist Bur Tong Chai, Cha Cha Sing, on July the 25th and made it to the 6th place. The third single for the 9th album is Want, Wanted on 19th of December and placed on the 3rd place. The ninth album for Berries is now became a mansion. Opened its doors on the new year of 2013, January the 30th, ranked on the 24th place along with two concerts too. The ninth year of Berries is celebrating the 33rd single with an Asian celebration. 
celebrated on March 13, 2013, and placed on the 8th place. Their 34th and 35th single, Golden Chinatown, and Sayonara Utsukutsi no Watashi, says goodbye to the lives in the Chinatown of Gold June the 19th, and made it to the 6th place. The Workshop 36th and 37th single were rocked on October the 2nd and wished upon staying on the 4th place. Their second to last album, Barry's Kobo Special Best Volume 2, was released on February the 26th of 2014 and made it to the 26th place while having 12 concerts at this time too. Now, for our presentation, we are now to our 10th and last year of Barry's Workshop. With their 38th and 39th single released on February the 19th of 2014 and made it to the 4th place yet again. The 40th and 41st single translated as Love is Always Inside of You and Is It Normal to Be an Idol for 10 Years? was released on the 4th of June and for their 10th year of love is another 4th place on the chart. The last single of the, their 42nd and 43rd is Romance o Kakete and Towa no Yuta. Speaking of romance and the Eternity song was released on November the 14th and finished the business on the second place gold. For the finished final touches, they have the Berries final completion box. Finishing the New Year's of 2015 on July the 21st and made it to the fifth place. Now that the discography of their business have been completed, we gotta take a look at their aftermath into the next chapter. Edo, did you get a haircut mint video again? Well, yes I did. From Man Cave Barber, Florida. Not sponsored, but please come visit them. And also, did you know these guys had their own radio show from 2004 to 2017? So now we're going to re go to their last concert called Iku. Let's go. Released on March the 3rd, 2015 with special guests of Juice Equals Juice. Country Gals Musume and Kobushi Mangolia Factory. Their last Hello Project concert was released on the New Year of 2015 on January the 2nd called Hello Project Nisei Ichigo Winter or 2015 once again in English. And now I'm going to talk about the aftermath of not just Berries, but the Berries members as well. First is Saki, our shortest but firm leader of Berries, was one of the voices of Izuma 11, was also in Osama games of the movie that was joined along with the rest of the members of Berries in Q, while being on more shows, internet, and more of Hello Project, and has been recently married too. The second charge in command is Momoko. She has joined Buno along with Natsuyaki and Suzuki Ari from Cute from 2007 to 2017 while also having her own radio show from April the 28th of 2010 all the way to 2017. San Memba is Shinami. Came to New Zealand to study English in 2015. Is the second member that is married, but the first to have a child. Young Mamba Masa, she is currently in a support group for Hiroshima called Rooters. She is one of the first members that actually has been chosen from the Hello Project Kids audition in 2002. 
The fifth member is Natsukiyaki. She had her own clothing brand called Pimi from 2018 to 2020. And now is in a group with Takashi Ai and Takanarina from Morning Musume called Laugh and Peace. Kuma is the sixth member that is now a fashion model in Korea. Risako is not only the third member to be married, but also the second to have children and she currently has two daughters. And lastly, the eighth and only graduated member Ishimura worked at her father's eel shop since 10 years ago and also works for, as Oscar promotions as well. Lastly is the legacy of Barry's workshop. They have done seven photo books, won four awards, had their own magazine, was not only the very first Japanese group to perform in Thailand, girl group that is, but also the very first project out of Hello Project Kids as well, while doing various of uh, multiple concerts around the world and also in their hometown, along with all other activities as well. And this makes them the 21st group of Hello Project, while being the third longest running group of Hello Project history. And now, on to our second to last chapter. What did I learn and what did I inspire from them? Okay, for our next part of this presentation of basically of how I first met with Berries and how I got interactive with them, we were going to go to Edo 4 with his report. All right, Edo, do your thing, man. We'll see you there. Thanks, Story Time, Edo. Oh, do we have a question? So Zahara asked, in what way will you be explaining your journey and experiences from the Barry workshop? That's a very great question. Like usual, I'll be explaining how I first found them in Japanese. So here we go. Juich Sai Deska the Go Nensei des Akito Nisen Yo Hachi. The website to Foshare.com. Uta de Hajimete promotion video no the Koino Ju Baku. Zubashi Toki de so Gako Naitae so the Kimono ga. セスクとないますと歌でこのショーのビデオの完璧上でもこの人がとこのショーのビデオでメンバーが見たいときです覚えてるときだって何て見たいですか What were they looking at? とにかく愛してます。で、初めてのヘロパジェクトみたいとか、と、モイミスメのテミモニ。すげえなって思うと11年とか、と、世界って日本語がありがとうございました。The berries for 11 years. On March the 3rd, it will be celebrated as the Berries Workshop Kobo Day. Ima, back to you, Storytime Edo. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Edo4. It's worth noting that in the early days of Berries, they were in a series called Little Hospital in 2003, and they were also part of W's video called RoboKiss and also Fujimoto Miki's fifth single Boogie Train 03. On an unrelated note but I also want to share with you guys is coming soon is the first Joker's card of ICP called Carnival of Carnage for its 30th or 31st anniversary. 
The reason why I'll be sharing this now is because I have a, a prediction that in the next video that I'll be doing in a later time that it will be too late to say it. So it just makes sense for me to celebrate this a bit early before the next video that I got to do for the next month. On that note, happy early birthday to Shaggy2Dope for making it to 48. Happy 22nd anniversary to the Gathering of the Juggalos. And I am very happy that Violent J is okay too. And once again, I like to celebrate that I was born on his 25th birthday. And now I made it to 25 too. Speaking of birthdays. Berries and Q release a duo project on my 15th birthday called Happy Song, released on April the 28th of 2012. And also again on that note, uh, I was so I'm very happy that I got to do this special for Berry's 18th year, and I hope you guys all enjoy. So I'm curious, who were the sponsors for the fourth Hello Project? Another amazing question, and this is where we're going to move to our sponsors now. Alright everybody, before we move on to the sponsors and shoutouts, we gotta at least get to the main event of Barry's Workshop, aka Barry's Kobo. Of the member of Saki Chinami Masa Miyabi Yurina Imaiha. The helpers for this project that helped out with me goes to Maddie the Aspie, Sheik Sahara, Malik, Matt Tag. Rib, Christina, Kev, and Drew B. The shout outs for this video goes to Down Heart, Meet Sidon, SRN004, Grave Zane, Hara, Hara, MC Mars, Shani Rudigo, an up and coming singer, The Murder Mayhem Show, Plankton Sounds, Ant Rob Music, Kura, Bungalow, Samuji, Kazuma Umimoto, RPG Boys, Eerie the Ghost, Music Industry Contract, A Fly on the Wall, and for Dino and Daisy. Thank you all for tuning in to my presentation of the workshop of Bayeries while also watching my latest video of the Q&A for my first anniversary of the podcast as long as my fourth anniversary of this YouTube channel with Down Heart. Another tribute I'd like to share with you all is a mixed version of Love Spell music video remake for the 2008 to 2021 fashion and the link will be down below. Coming up next is my 21st podcast episode with Christian Yu of a Q&A first year as well as the 19th report of the Japanese and Taiwanese report of Black Biscuits which that will be coming in later in time. Thank you all for watching the final report of Barry's Kobo. Hmm. Lastly, the words I want to basically leave you guys off with before I leave right now is to always stay double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon while the sun is still out. And I'm gonna see you all later. Goodbye, guys.
I'm gonna do it all in one shot. We can just cut around it. Hopefully that's okay. Hello for this. Um boy. Before you move on to the next topic at 04, what wait? I'm gonna do a couple takes just in case. Oh, and here it comes right now. Wow. I can't wait for L4 to come soon this presentation. It took him a while to finish the site another presentation. Oh, Back with another video. And here he comes right now. Here he is. And I am back with another video. Wait, huh? Okay. Alrighty. And here he comes right now. Woo! It would be the best way to report. Could you please sit down? All members for not only Barry's, but also other members of Hello Project Kids were, the rest of them were, oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and now we're going to be diving into three chapters of the full discography <laughs> and now captain my highest resignation resignation hmm. Resina resignation Hold on for a second. Resignation. Could you please sit down? It would be the best way to report. Before we finish off Barry's debut year in the workshop, three more things to add they have done that this year, that year. Uh, oops, what one more? Fifth and uh, uh, man. uh, the eighth single is the last single with Maha, my heart. The fifth and last single is for the two of place Cinderella until nine o'clock. The clock was ticking at August the 3rd, but stayed in a safe place. Mm. The clock was ticking at August the 3rd, but all during mm. My heart's registration. My heart regnant red. My heart red red. Cut again or just do it again? <laughs> Wait, I think it's just do it again. My heart recognition was because I'm one of the first members that is also that actually released on March the 12th and remixed on September the 17th of 2008. 
uh, in place. On June the 8th of 2012, they visited New Jersey at the Garden State Exhibit. Speaking of romance in the entirety, in, in the Eternity song, group. And their help in their mm. be Genki Nabura Nabusura Naru released on March the 12th. Okay, yeah. berries. So we're gonna go to the last concert called Iku. Let's go. Released on March the 30th. <laughs> be Genki Nasuba Naru. Release on March the 24th of... Oh, come on! The fourth... The 40th and the 41st single... Speaking of romance and the Eternity song was released on November the 14th and finished the business of So uh, for what questions do you have? <laughs> um, I said questions. No, okay. Alright. Okay. Sako is the third member that is not only member Mary. Well, okay, well, come on, August the 25th, and place that I was born on his 25th birthday. So, sir, I asked. So, so, Okay. Thank you all for watching and